There are some topics we as photographers, videographers and content creators don't like to talk about, but also generally other people also don't like to talk about them. And one of those topics is about the things that we suck at. Needless to say, making good cappuccinos isn't one of those things for me. For me, one of the topics that I struggle with is that being consistent. Take for instance this YouTube channel. In the beginnings of this channel I used to post a lot of vlogs and travel videos and at this point I can't even remember the last time I posted a vlog. Another thing I used to do at different times was go to the gym for at least three times a week. Right now the last time I have been training was a bit over two months ago. Actually, let's fix that. going to the gym but a 30 minute workout should do for now. So this September I got a job as a photographer's assistant where we were taking pictures every day of kids in school and I would have to wake up at 5 a.m in the morning be in a different school almost every day at by 7 and from 7 to 8 we had to prepare the set and put the lights and the camera in place and I was helping with that. I also had my first couple shooting in Vienna and also I flew to Sicily to film my cousin's wedding. In September I even started my driver's license and so far I took all the theory courses already. And on top of that I always have my one day a week job as a barista in a restaurant. But in the end, even after having such a busy schedule and doing so many things, I still feel like I wasn't consistent enough because, for example, I neglected the gym and I neglected this YouTube channel during this time. The self-employed people out there can probably relate to what I'm saying or could relate to what I'm saying at some point. But basically, I think I'm at a phase right now when I have to differentiate between the kind of work that I do because it aligns with my vision and where I want to go and with the future that I want to have the kind of work that pushes me more to, towards that direction and the other work which I just do on the side to do all the to keep the bills paid basically and I also need to be more precise about how much of each I'm going to be doing when I shot my cousin's wedding I found that really uh, I, I found a sense of purpose doing that kind of work as a photographer and videographer because first of all I was there in the spot helping them uh, feel more comfortable relieve some of the stress but i was also capturing their special moments uh, in a way that they will have forever and i was doing it in the best possible way to my abilities but also trying to make them feel comfortable in the meanwhile and i liked also the excitement the love that was in the air and everyone else that was happy about this celebration and I wanted to be a part of that. Another thing that I've noticed about myself that I would probably like to do long term is sports photography and video. The reason is the same about the atmosphere. The sporties have some kind of adrenaline and positivity about them and they're all racing towards a goal. Uh, they're trying to win and seeing that atmosphere and everyone cheering around uh, to my experience, that has also been some kind of environment that I would really like to be a part of. And thirdly, I have also realized that without YouTube and without you guys, without a place for me to express my thought and my experience and the things that I've learned, I also don't feel the same level of fulfillment. It gives me a sense of meaning that we are creating, for example, this community in YouTube and it's slowly growing very slowly, but uh, it's actually growing at different points. I didn't even think that we could ever reach 100 subscribers, let alone 700 that we are right now or whatever number it is at the point that you're watching this video. That people are interacting with the content, that are leaving comments and saying I help them with a problem or I help them make, a, make up their mind or with a decision or I let them know about a certain thing about the camera in a way that they didn't get from other creators or at least didn't see yet just helping the community of youtubers videographers photographers 
makes me happy in a way and uh, it gives me some kind of meaning and it gives me some kind of purpose to these videos. So these are the areas that I want to concentrate from this point onwards. I don't think I'll manage from the beginning. I still have to do work on the side just to keep paying the bills. But that brings me to the next point. If you want to help me build this channel further and if you enjoy the kind of videos that I make, if you like them, if you get value out of them and if you think that other people should watch them also or that uh, I should keep making them, then please consider becoming a member of the channel. And I also opened a Patreon channel for those of you who are on Patreon and want to help me there. I will also start putting these videos on Patreon. Um, I still haven't figured out how to use a platform, to be honest, but I am planning to do so uh, in the next few days. And so if you want me to keep continuing with this kind of content, I would really appreciate it if you could consider becoming a member and help me with the small payment uh, monthly. To conclude this video, as a self-employed photographer, videographer and YouTuber, um, I've learned over the past couple of years that I shouldn't always try new things. Of course, that is important because you don't know which one, which things you like unless you try them. But at some point you have to also think about how they're affecting your life, how they're affecting the vision that you have, if they're bringing you further towards that vision, towards making that vision come true towards your goal, or if they're taking you away, away from it. Yeah, that was it for this video. I'll see you hopefully in the next one. Goodbye.